Hello again, this is Dustin from Handheld Legend. Um, a while ago, I had done a video, I think it was actually one of my first videos for Handheld Legend, um, where I took a DMG, so the original Game Boy, and I talked about where to find the regulated voltage, where to find the unregulated voltage, kind of like a nice place to run some wiring, a space to put mods and things of that nature. It got really some good feedback, and I intended to do one of them for each of the other consoles, but unfortunately I just never did, so I want to fix that now. So here I'm going to start with the Game Boy Color. Um, I just happened to find this color a while ago that had a clear shell, which I really liked, and it works well for this. It's got a burnt polarizer, though. Uh, really briefly on that, the polarizer on a Game Boy Color can certainly be replaced, but it's not the same kind of linear polarizer that like a, a Game Boy or a um, DMG or a Pocket use. This one uses a circular polarizer. So what you want to do is go out to eBay. You're going to want to look for um, like a sheet of iPad polarizer. It could be iPad, iPad mini, whatever. And then you would take that and kind of turn it until you saw the right image with this on and everything. Mark it, trim it. And there you go. So again, this is like, this is easily fixed. You just have to, um, you just have to get some circular polarizer. Um, it's pretty neat. The reason that I wanted to use this clear shell for this, as you can see right here, there's all this space for a, for a board here, and it's, it's like. So what I'll do is our PAM 8302A two and a half watt amplifier fits perfectly in here, this little square, so it's just a little bit below the display, touching just the outside um, corner of this, and then kind of over here a little bit. And then there's room here, you can see, to run wiring. So that's gonna be um, a good thing to do. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But I've also seen some people mount stuff here. So in the, in the middle of the front. Now what you'd have to do though, is you can see that's like a post right there. Um, let me see if that, yeah, that, that works. That's a, one of the motherboard posts. So what you'd have to do is actually trim that out. I'm just not a fan of, not, of trimming shells unless I really have to. Um, so that's kind of like my own philosophy. Uh, what I've done again on this one is I've already unscrewed it just to make for uh, faster disassembly. And let me pull this out. No, oh, the board came with it a little bit. That's okay. So yeah, so now this is like the the back of the color. I've also seen some people put mods like right about here. The only problem is you have to trim the RF shield in order to do that for the most part. And when you start getting into the RF shield, you know the the most obvious thing that it does there is it protects the circuitry from the cartridges so I don't yeah I'm just not a fan of doing that but that's fine I mean like I said there's um, there's differences for everybody let me see if I can pull that filter or that IR piece out now we talked about here in the center there's room for some mods and that's true and here let's pull this out and I've never pulled this one out before, so here, I'm going to pull the board out as I do it under a camera, which is a little bit difficult. Okay, there we go. I've got the board out. Now, one of the things here, and I'll show you, you know, it's like if you don't already know the, the trick for getting rid of, um, we'll just pop all that out, getting, getting the screen out of there. It's just kind of as easy as like kind of turning this and we'll do that. Just kind of put your fingernail underneath there and gently lift. And there we go. There's our burned polarizer screen. And there's also like a little bit of a plastic in here that I'll, I'll get out later. I don't, oh, there we go. This is just like a ring that kind of like um, holds it in place. It's very adhesive. But I also find it's very dirty all the time. Um, so, for example, let's say you were going to do the amplifier modification I was talking about. What you'd want to do is take some side snips and you just literally snip all these little ends off. I mean, if you 
here if I hold this at an angle you can see all those are raised up you're gonna want those to be flat as possible so you would just take your um, side cutters and cut them all down um, very easy thing to do Oh, there's another pad and again it's a, it's almost like right here in this little square is where that amplifier mod would work and what you can do is route through here on the sides you route the wiring and what happens is on the back side of this see where there's these little arms I guess you could say they would be uh, if it was this if this were a building it'd be a buttress um, but there's a it's there's a gap in there so what I usually do is I'll run my wires just above this clip just above this clip and I actually will go through um, those holes there I probably should have cut a piece of wire so I could actually show that to you but when you do that then your your wiring comes right out through here and right out through here and you can route things uh, easily that way so for example here you can just route your wiring right through here there is a support post that goes about right here so you could even kind of like cut it at a diagonal and go around this um, if you went around the capacitor so like down and around and then diagonally through you'll avoid that little um, piece there I'm wondering if I can yeah it's a, it's a no yeah that's what it is right there it's just that little post right there is what does it um, you could again you could trim that off actually and make it work a little bit better I try and avoid it and I'd rather just run a little bit of extra wire but then what you can also do is right behind these battery terminals is a little bit of space you cross over the speaker and you can go through um, these components right here and what I'll do is just kind of tuck the wiring right between the phone jack and the power jack and the components and then you can kind of wire things in make things really nice and clean um, really that's about the size of things on the Game Boy Color it's not like there's a ton of room for mods but it's also like there's not a lot of mods that would really be done to this one thing I was curious about and let's just hold this up yeah you know this is good too if you look at this from an angle you've got a lot of good space in there on the back of the speaker too so you could even mount it there if you wanted to and um, this is like the stock regulator Oops, sorry this is the stock regulator here and there's the speaker area and there's like the caps and the regulator area you could do things in there too you know so it's like really what you're looking for is just like anywhere that you've got some room where you could add some mods or someplace that you could make a non-structural um, change meaning like you even if you take out this post for example it's still going to have two motherboard screws so that's okay but I wouldn't want to get rid of any more than that um, so yeah I'm just going to wrap this video up then I hope that you enjoyed this and what I'll do next is the Game Boy Pocket talk to you later bye